Well, I believe that our sideline extraordinaire, Josie Janavicious, has a special guest, the winner of the women's three-point contest, Mara Minsterman. Josie, take it away. Thank you, John. I'm joined by Mara Minsterman, who won the women's three-point contest. Mara, there's a lot of pretty hot shooters on your team, but you were able to take away the title. What does that mean to you? I mean, it means a lot, but I think we have a team full of really great shooters. I think it could have gone any, any way tonight. Any of the six could have won it, so, I mean, it's a great honor, but... I mean, every single girl out there is a really great shooter, so. And this is your first future hysteria as a player on the team. What's the atmosphere been like so far for you? Oh, it's incredible, especially as a girl that's grown up in Indiana. I mean, this is something that I've thought about, I mean, my whole life. I've seen it so many times, and I think it's, it's just a great honor to be out here, finally, in front of all these people. So. And finally, men are going to be taking the court for their three-point shooting contest in a little bit. Any predictions who's going to take the title on the men's side? Uh, I think James Blackman is the favorite by far, but I think, honestly, they have a lot of great shooters, too, so you never know. Somebody might have said him. Well, thank you, Mara. Back to you guys. The dunk contest on its way, but first, Josie has grabbed the three-point shooting champion, Max Hetzel. Josie, what have you got for us? I'm joined by Matt Hetzel, who just won the three-point contest on the men's side. Max, you've got quite a few guys who can shoot the ball on your team. I know Yogi and Nick were talking at Media Day about how they like to have competitions. What does it mean though, to get the victory in this as far as bragging rights? Uh, well, you know, it's big. I mean, we do this every day in practice. After practice, we always compete through contests like this. So. Really, you know, besides 17,000 people here, I just shot the ball, and that's all you really have to do. And this is your first teacher hysteria as a player, winning the contest. What has it been like so far? It's been great. You know, I felt the love from everybody. I knew it was going to be crazy, but, you know, just being out here, it's a surreal, a surreal experience. And I'm, I'm just having fun with my teammates. And, yeah, just having fun. You know, it's, a, it's an experience of a lifetime. Right, and dunk contest coming up next. I know you, you've probably seen a little bit more than we have, but do you have any, do you have any predictions who's going to take that crown? Uh, I really don't know. They all can dunk the ball. They all can fly high. There's some high flyers. Uh, I don't know who I'm going to take, but we'll see. Okay, thank you, Max. Congrats again. Thank you, Josie and thank I'm with Nate Ritchie, just won the dunk contest. Nate, a little bit of a struggle in the first round. You didn't right. know if you were going to even get that chance to make your dunk. Yeah. Then you rebounded the second. How, what was it like out there? I mean, I was so nervous coming out here after I, I mean, they put me fourth, so I didn't really know. I was pretty scared just beginning with that. And then after I almost fell on that one, uh, kind of just had to regroup and come out there and make my first round dunk, and then I was lucky enough to make my uh, second round dunk. A lot of your teammates pretty confident on social media that they were going to take this one. Yeah. What do you say to them? I mean, it, it's just all fun. I mean, we once we found out who was in the contest, we all just wanted to go out there and have some have some fun with it. And I mean, we're all college kids. We're going to be pretty confident and stuff. And But I mean, I think everyone's just excited that they got the opportunity to do it. And getting that feed from Stan, how, how much practice did it take for you guys to get that right? Like I said, I mean, we, we were out here at practice earlier today, and um, we uh, – or we're out here to practice it earlier today and we couldn't we couldn't get it and I mean I said why not try it now I need something big to win and, and we got it. Thank you Nate G congratulations back to you John and Andy for the scrimmage. Clubs made here we'll update you on that in a moment but before we do that we're going to throw it down to Josie it looks like she's got a visiting Hoosier to her left Josie what have you got Thank for you, us? Thank you, John. I'm at Greg Graham, who played for the Indiana Hoosiers from 89 to 93. And you were just part of that candy stripe pants ceremony. What did you think of that new tradition? Well, I think it's phenomenal. I mean, it was a great idea. I, I don't know who came up with the concept, but it was great. And I'm sure those those incoming freshmen, I'm, I'm sure they really enjoy that. I mean, because it is tradition. And, you know, to be a part of Indiana and to have that presented to you on a night like Hoosier Hysteria is a great opportunity. And kind of stole you away from watching the scrimmage, but what do you see so far from this year's team? I know you probably you followed the program. Well, watching years past, I mean, one thing I equated to is that, I mean, they're very young, but I do notice they're more athletic. They have better shooters, so they're not going to have a problem scoring the ball. And I think with this team, it's just a matter of chemistry and them just doing a lot of team building, and I'm sure they'll, they'll, they'll get that going in part of years. And, you know, former player coming back, what does Hoosier hysteria mean to you to be able to come back and still be embraced as a part of Hoosier Nation? Well, that's something that, that's, that's in your bones. I mean, you never, you never forget where you came from. I mean, Indiana, has, like I said, great history, great tradition. Sage still did an awesome job in, in presenting tonight. Um, I just wish we did this when I was here. <laughs> Coach Knight, I don't think Coach Knight will allow anything like this to happen, though. But this is a great, it's great for the fans. It's great for these guys to actually play in front of the Hoosier Nation. So we all enjoy it. 
Okay, well, thank you very much for joining us. I'll let you get back to watching the scrimmage. Yeah, thank you. And I'll, I'll go send it back to you, Don and Andy. Well, before all the festivities here started this evening, we mentioned Josie. We said you never know who she's going to bump into here this evening, and I think she's done some bumping into Josie. Who are you with right now? I'm with Simone Delish and Malika Talpa. Both played for the women's basketball team last year. And Simone, getting getting to look at this year's team for the first time at Hoosier Hysteria, what are, you, what are your first thoughts? I'm just really excited for the ladies. I'm excited for the sophomores coming back and the freshmen that are coming in. And I'm, I'm excited to see what they're going to do for the, for the Hoosiers this year. And Malika, you guys coming back as alums, what is Hoosier Hysteria like from the, from the alumni perspective? I mean, it's special. Like, obviously, when we came back and looking at it, like, it's like another view, and it's just like fun seeing everybody, like, 15, participating in it. And yeah, I don't know. It's just a good thing to watch. Well, thank you, ladies, for joining us. We're going to send it back to you guys for the rest of the scrimmage.